Operation Ice Bridge is a six-year NASA mission that monitors the Earth's polar ice in the Arctic and Antarctic. It's the largest airborne survey of Earth's polar ice ever flown. Now, it monitors changes from a fixed-wing aircraft because the satellite that previously gathered information malfunctioned. All right, joining us now from Goddard, Goddard Space Center is NASA scientist Nathan Kurtz. Dr. Kurtz, thank you for being with us this morning. So explain the mission a little bit more. Because we don't have that satellite, why do we need a plane to fly up and get this data? So Operation Ice Bridge was launched to, to monitor the Earth's uh, ice cover. And so uh, the, the ice cover of the polar regions is, has been changing quite a bit. So places like Greenland, Antarctica have been losing quite a bit of mass. Uh, the thickness of the Arctic sea ice has been uh, decreasing as well. And so uh, NASA has launched this mission to, to get an eye on, on what's happening in the, the polar regions, how that ice is changing, and uh, what's causing those changes. Is this information used in modeling, or what do you hope to learn from it? Uh, so yes, it is used in modeling. Uh, so we look at uh, things like the, the bedrock structure underneath the, the Greenland ice sheet. Uh, that'll tell us how quickly that ice is going to move uh, when you have things like surface melting or the ocean melting and underneath. Uh, and it's also used in uh, models for Arctic sea ice to predict where the, the sea ice will be, say, at the end of the summer. When are we going to be able to get a satellite back up and running that will be taking the same observations so we don't have to do these flights? Uh, the successor mission uh, that NASA is launching is called ISAT-2. It will be launched uh, next year, late next year. Uh, it'll take similar measurements to what IceBridge is taking. Uh, it's a laser altimeter, so it'll measure the, the height of the surface so we can monitor those changes in the ice. It, it won't completely replace these airborne missions. Okay. Uh, we have many more instruments on board the, the plane gotcha. than we can ever get from a satellite. Understandable. All right, Nathan Kurtz, thank you so much.